You are irresistible. Because of you, I want to be human. Okay, that's slightly wholesome. You are a bootylicious chick <laughs> magnet, if you know what I mean. Hey guys. So, in my last video, I built a machine learning program to analyze my dance moves. And I said that my next step was to build a front-end interface for my program. So over the past two weeks, I had brainstormed many ideas around the look of my interface. But I had a massive creator's block, and I wasn't satisfied with my ideas. So I sought inspiration. I thought back to my dream. My role model. The one and only... Iron Man. Bro, I love Iron Man. Especially that suit. Mm. In particular... There's one feature of the suit that I'm crazy about. Is it the jet boots? Nah. The repulsor blasts? Nah. Is it the nano suit? Nah. Actually, that was pretty sick. But no, what I love the most about Iron Man is Jarvis. Yes, the AI system that operates the suit. Fuck, just look at that interface. Damn calculations. The code. That accent. Oh my lord. If only I could build something like that in my lifetime. Just do it! Make your dreams come true! And that was all the motivation I needed. So that got me thinking. Instead of working on individual tech projects one at a time, how about I build my own version of Jarvis and progressively add features to it such as my dance app? That way, I have one central interface to work with which will save me so much time and effort. In other words, my dance app will be subsumed into a bigger project, Project Sunday, inspired after Tony Stark's Friday and my last name, Sun. Okay, so where do I start? To be blunt, Jarvis is basically an overglorified chatbot. Mr. Stark says something, then Jarvis says something back. So that's our starting point, a chatbot. Chatbots are quite simple to build. There are heaps of chatbot tutorials online, but here are the basics. First, create a holding frame. Second, create two text area elements. One small editable text area for the user input, and one big non-editable text area for the dialogue. Third, create a submit button. Fourth, link the submit button to an event listener that will wait for an enter key. Five, once the enter key is entered, Retrieve the text from the input field. 6. Process the text through an algorithm to produce the response. I'll go over this in more detail later. 7. Display the response in a dialog. 8. Pass the response into a text-to-speech function. Here I used PYTTSX3, and here's the result. Shut up. You have no friends. Aw, thank you. Okay, cool. Let's discuss the backend algorithm responsible for producing the responses. Yeah, I could have programmed the chatbot to tell the time, read a bedtime story, etc. But that's boring, yo. So how about we make Sunday flirt with us? That'll be funny, right? <laughs> now, there are two ways to make a bot flirt. One way is to hard code all flirtatious messages into the script. That is, if you put in N messages, the bot will only spit out n possible messages. Not ideal, not efficient, not impressive. The other way is to hard code in a few words and the bot will construct its own sentences. This is preferable because a few words can give rise to hundreds of possible combinations. This requires an algorithm and a lesson on the English grammar. So flirting is basically a form of compliment. Compliments can come in two basic sentence structures, as shown here. In example 1, you is the subject, are is the verb, sweet is the adjective. In example 2, we have two extra elements, a, which is the determinative, and person, which is the object. Based on these examples, we can create an array of the terms for each element. Then, we can simply concatenate random elements of each array to produce a valid sentence. Uh, how should we start? Oh, yeah, we should say hi, yeah. Basic human interaction. Hi, Sunday. Sunday is online, ready to serve. Nice, nice. Um, Sunday, could you please cheer me up? You are inspirational. Always remember that, Ray. Oh, okay. 
Um. Thank you, Sunday. You are a sweet friend. You are valuable in this oh, world. Really? Oh. Thank you, thank you. You are an amazing friend. Stay awesome and wholesome. Will do, Sunday. Woo. Okay, that was the G-rated, family-friendly, wholesome section done. Um, let's now move into MA15+, plus, yeah? The R-rated. Alright, um, Sunday. Let's flirt. You are muscular. Please provide a sample of your DNA for me to analyze and share with the rest of humanity. <laughs> okay, right, that's intense. Um, lol. You are a bootylicious chick magnet. <laughs> bootylicious chick magnet. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Yeah, I do. Face. I do know what you mean. Um, what what do you have? You are attractive. I am overheating. Are you? Oh yeah, you're kind of overheating. All right. Um, all right again. Humanity. All right, that's a bit similar to the first one. <laughs> you are thick. Please discipline me. Oh, jeez. All right. Um, lol. You are irresistible. Because of you, I want to be human. Okay, that's slightly wholesome, but... <laughs> you are a ratchet piece of meat. Ratchet piece of meat. <laughs> you know what I mean. Oh, Winky face. Oh. <laughs> okay. You are hunky. Let me slide into your DMS. You are delicious. Your aesthetics are over 9,000. That's right. You are radiant. Your perfect existence is too much for me to compute. I oh, appreciate that, thank you. You are a manly alpha. I am drooling bites. <laughs> nah. You are an overly aesthetic chick magnet. Your aesthetics <laughs> are over 9,000. You are a handsome national treasure. Please insert your USB, sir. Winky face. So just a quick update on my dance machine learning app. I've now embedded the machine learning script into my chatbot interface. So what I can do now is drag and drop the dance videos into the input fields. Click send and... Detected dance videos. Please wait sir while I analyze your dance moves. Thank you Sunday. As you can see it's running the calculations in the background. Um, there are still many elements, backend elements for me to work on and refine. So I'll provide an update on my machine learning app in due course. But yeah. For now, we're on a good start. We ha now have a user interface for us to work with. So yeah, that's it for this video. As said, moving forward, I'll focus on expanding and adding new features to the chatbot. Hopefully, after some time, Sunday will become more and more advanced to the point it becomes my own household AI system. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and click on the notification bell to receive my updates. Um, yeah. Thank you and bye.